Hey, welcome to Across the Obelisk. Ooh. Let's give some... Let's give some music to everyone. Confirm. Please confirm everyone that you can hear. Hear me, you can hear the music and everyone is happy. Alrighty. Welcome to Across the Obelisk. So this is gonna be a... Um, or this is a... An, uh, whoa, I got a message. That's so lovely. Welcome to the Across the Obelisk demo. Thank you for testing our game. Bear in mind, this is... This, this is game is currently in development. So you may expect things that doesn't work as intended. Don't forget to give us your feedback about the game. Any opinion is really helpful for us. And if you liked it enough, wishlist the game on Steam. And that's all. Hope you enjoy it. I'm quite sure we will. So as far as I understand, this is a deck building game. Deck building... Uh, roguelite element. It's... Let's let's jump straight straight into it. If you notice any issues, any lags or something, let me know. I tried it out once to make sure that I the game uh, runs smoothly and it opens up nicely. But we're gonna start with a new game from completely blank. I don't even know how to play the game properly. Uh, I have, ooh, I have characters. I have. 16 characters. I'm guessing I have can unlock them because they have a bit of a lock there. And I have four characters. Warrior, Scout, Mage, Healer. Unlock new characters, completing quests during your adventures. Characters quests are unmarked with the icon. Tick. And I have scrolls next to them. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Information. Information about information. Magnus Mercenary, do do do, life, I have life, I have, ooh. Energy, I have speed, I have all of these information. Ooh. Inspire, draw one extra card, push charge at, at the start of the turn, remove all charges. Ooh, I have cards. Initial cards, I have all of these cards. I have another character, I have different cards. All right, I have these spaces. I have these icons. I have those icons. It's a matchmaking game. The game is actually about uh, finding the pairs. So you have you have a healer, which goes Reginald. We have a mage, Evelyn. We have Andrin as a scout, and we have Magnus as a warrior. Drag the character that you... Uh, some, some attacks can only attack from the front and back or middle units. Recommended class for positions. Yes, so we are playing with the recommended setup. Begin adventure. Uh, take your time and manage your deck before the adventure. When you are done, press ready. Okay, so I have some money. I have some money. I have some... That's cool. Uh, craft cards, card... Div what? A divination round from the Oracle. I don't know what that is. Buy equipment. <gasps> I unlock stuff. I think because I have played a little bit, I have unlocked some stuff. So I can... I can get... Some things. Weapon. Ooh. That's interesting. I can't buy certain things from... Oh, okay, okay, I can buy anything for everyone. It just changes... Uh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna buy anything now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna head, uh, head in. I'm just gonna head in. So, um, I'm guessing we're starting from here, from Castle of Question Marks. 
Castle of question marks. And we can go Western farmland. So I had this idea that, oh, uh, Slay the Spire made deck building roguelite games so popular. So this is going to be a, a copy or an inspiration. And, uh, and it's good to see that it's not because uh, Slay the Spire is, comes from the bottom and goes to the top. And this is going from left to right. And I would call that innovation. Uh, ooh. Ooh. So many things I can do. I can combat. I can combat. I can event, card, cards, craft. I can do so many things. Ooh, wow. Okay. At the moment I can't do much. I can only do... Uh, Combat and combat and combat. Oh, because I was here already, I can see that. What's in that node? Okay, and then I can I can have an event, event, event. Uh. Ooh. Where do I want to go? Do I want? Ooh, do I want a character? I want a new character. Oh, <gasps> so I'm gonna go up here. Ooh. So I have these characters. These are my characters. That's I understand. These are the characters who are not happy that my characters are alive. And I have all these cards that I can play. I have mana or energy. We call it energy. And uh, I have indicators that where I whose whose turn it is. I can see everything that Ooh, so much information. Uh, but what I, I want to say that I'm really, really happy is the artwork. I look at this. Honestly. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So clean. So nice. I love the artwork. Alright, I have all of these cards. I have so, so, um, um, what is it? What is it? What is the card game by Blizzard? Hearthstone. I have Hearthstone vibes by playing around with this and the noises and everything. So I can attack. Uh, one thing that, uh, ooh, I can make them bleed. Bleed. Um, I don't want any. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself a bit. And that's all. More energy. Let's attack. Uh, deal nine damage. Deal. Okay, let's uh, let's end this. Oh, why I can't end you? That's silly. Okay, uh, yeah. Look at four cards. I don't want to. I'm good. Ooh, fire. Uh, pop, 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 frost. So many things. So many things happening. Okay, that gives me resist resistance. I don't really care resistance. I can do cold damage. Let's do cold damage on this. And let's. I don't know what happens if I do fire damage. No, it doesn't make any. No, nothing happens. Okay, cold damage taken plus zero. Speed minus zero. Why? I want you to be slow or something. Okay, cold damage taken plus one. That's a something. And now they are attacking. Popcorn. Really? It's attacking with popcorn. Poor guys. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself.
Uh, flesh heal, heal plus four, draw. No, I'm gonna heal myself properly. Um, holy damage. I don't know if I if I'm I don't know yet if I'm uh, if I'm carrying my health to the next level or not, but I'm guessing yes. Oh, okay, so some attacks I can't. Okay, this is a melee attack. So melee attacks I can only attack the one that in the front, and then a ranged attack I can attack anyone. Why? Now I don't know why I don't attack actually that uh, that amount. Um, pom pom pom. Checking a couple of things. So that's interesting that here it says 14 attack. And if I do, then it, it says, says 13. And uh, I can't attack myself. Um, there must be something that I'm missing here. Um, I'm faster, which is nice. Attack below the card name shows the target. Okay. I know, but it says here 14. And if I do this, it says 13. What is close? What's happening? What's the difference? Hmm. You should reset the tutorial on the settings. The tag below the card name shows the target the resistance. Okay, is there a resistance? I should reset the tutorial. Nah, I'm good. We're gonna dive head into it and we will see what happens. It's more fun. This is, this is for the lazy players like... Uh, I don't know. Me. It's like me. It's for the lazy players because let's face it. Let's face it. Most of the players won't check the, the tutorial properly. And, and I, I think I think that it's quite important for people to understand that when you're designing a game, you're designing for the lazy people. Uh, you have to make it as clear as possible. You have to feed them you know free chewed food i don't know something disgusting um because most of the people won't read any of the uh tutorials only if it's necessary when you're like stuck completely in the game Ooh, okay, now I'm I'm dealing more. So this little thingy plus three damage taken. Uh, I'm missing something that why they are uh they have a resistance. Slash blunt resistance bonus. Oh 10%. Oh okay, it has a slash resistance bonus and it has a fire resistance bonus because it's a fire type. Wow, okay, that's cool. It's actually cool that you can you can check everything that everything is there if you know where to if you click on it oh all the all the information is there brilliant a lot of stuff uh, boom. Uh, boom. I don't know what you are but I can't even use you fire Alrighty. I get cards. I can choose shards. I don't know what shards are for. I have shards here. I don't know what shards are for, so we're not gonna choose shards. Performance bonus, good. Good. It was amazing. What are you talking about? Silly game. Uh, let's do. Card not unlocked. Um, unlocked. Okay. 
Um, tum tum tum. Oh yeah, please. Oh yeah, please. Uh, I want free attack. I want a free attack. Song of Rapture. All right, I want something. Poison. Oh, I want poison. Um, this is giving me. Um, courage, holy and shadow resistance plus thirty shield. I I need shield. Ooh, okay, so because we are going towards this, I'm gonna go here. Oh, this is this is tutorial. Oh, so we're gonna read tutorial because everyone is here. So um, we're gonna read tutorials. Even trolls. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of the action. Each character will use the card from his own deck. Okay. A corpse on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burn field and a burning house. Ooh. In front of the house, there is a fire imp causing fire next to some burning cornies. Yeah, uh, even, even half burned, the house may contain something valuable, but you'll have to deal with the fire imp and corny first. You can deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore it. Okay, so... Okay... Mm. Oh. He want battle. Oh, two of these. Ooh. Well, are they burning? Ooh, hello. You, I don't, I, I can't attack you with fire. There's, I uh, want to. Yeah, I'm gonna make you all slow. Enrage. Yeah, I want to be enraged. Barricade. E yeah, I want more defense. I want to deal damage. Uh, I want more. Uh, you like to attack those. I need more. I'm gonna have all the armor of the world. Um, pom pom pom. Deal. Uh, yeah, I want you not to be happy. I don't, I would like you not to be happy. Um, self defense. Yeah, and I have to end my turn, and uh, you're gonna attack me. Evil, evil imp. Oh, yeah, right. Ooh, ow, that hurts. That's evil. Um, fire. I can't really do much with fire. Um, uh, I need some immunity. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I have a fireball. Great. Um, it's not gonna attack for a while, so... Can I even hurt them? No. Hello, Seppi! Welcome, Seppi, in the, in the stream. I can heal myself. I don't need to heal myself. Let's see. Let's see what you've got. That's funny. But it's fun that they are hurting themselves. Oh, 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 my, my... I think he's not happy. Um, pa -dum -pum -pum. Deal damage. I can, I can, could, can, could. I could remove one of them. Um... Oh, that's my thing. Okay. Um, what do I have to do? A 
could destroy you. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Punch. Bing. That was fun. At least one of them are gone. They're gonna attack me under. Alright, alright, alright. Um param 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 fire blast not really. Uh that does something else. Oh okay. That's fine. Uh grant extra energy per charge at the start of the turn, then remove charges, draw one extra card per charge. I don't really want that because I don't think I'm gonna um well, like, you know, who cares, because... Uh... Who's the next? You're the next one. Okay, Reginald is not happy. I think we're done. Yay! I've got all of these. Um, I still don't know what the shards for. So I'm not gonna choose them. Ooh, hello. Um, yeah, I want more fire damage. Yeah, please. Um, bum 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 bum. Annoying whistle. I don't. I know. I don't know. I can deal brain damage. I think brain damage sounds reasonably. Uh, what is it? Painful. So let's do that and uh, pre precise strike. Uh, I think I'm gonna have more free damage and. Uh, Ooh, hello. Yes, please. I'm gonna be a heavy hitter. Uh, loot, leave. You don't want to get burned. Yeah, I want to get burned. Yay, success. You get money and you get points. Cool, 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 cool. Um, choose one. Ooh, hello. Surprise box. Uh, I'm good with the silver ring. I want... Uh, electric damage. Who's attacking with electric stuff? He's, she's attacking. Uh, yeah, I want you to be faster, I want you to be, and I want you... Yeah, I want a random for you. Alrighty! Does corn have a brain? That's a good question, that's a good question. Corn brain exists. Alright, I think... I think it is time... I think it is time to, uh... Drag our poor developers into this, uh, stream and have a little bit of a conversation about this game. If uh, everyone is happy, so what I would like, I'm gonna pull up Discord in a second. What I would like, I would like the game developers to join me on a Discord, on the Much Amaze uh, Discord, in the waiting room. I would like you to be in the waiting room for me, please, for me to be able to drag you in. Whoa, Hans Mort is dead, you're there, and I'm gonna drag you into the stream voice chat. Hello, hello, Hans Mortis, how are you doing? Hey, I'm fine, thank you. 
Well, first of all, thank you so much for streaming our game. And give away. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, great. Okay, give me one, one tiny bit of a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit of voice. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of game, 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 game. Hello. So we, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make our game a little bit uh, quieter. So we're gonna have a little bit of ba background music, and we're gonna make you uh, louder. So yeah, I think, I think it's all right. It's, it's better now. I think it's better now. Everything, everyone can hear you. I'm guessing. Please confirm, chat. No chat. I think chat will confirm us in a second or two. Um, how so? Uh, welcome, welcome in the uh, stream, and thank you for uh, being with us, and thank you for uh, letting me play your game. I I, I saw on uh, Twitter that you were quite popular, being on on stream, uh, <laughs> basically well, every single day. We, we would like to be more popular, but <laughs> we are beginning. I think the game uh, uh, is, uh, as the game is a roguelike, and this is a popular genre right now with games like Slade Spire and Monster Train, I think it attracts people uh, just just because this is a deck building, a deck building game. And, and well, the art is in our opinion is really good so well it, it gets a lot of attention at the at first sight i think yeah the the graphics are uh clearly a really strong point of uh the game so I, you know as soon as i opened it like damn this looks beautiful so these are all hand-drawn or like uh, at least uh you know digital yes. digitally hand-drawn uh characters it gives me a what what where was a there was a world of warcraft game back in the day that was a hand drawn and and that it gives me that vibe with the color scheme and and uh, reminds me a bit of um i will remember the game the, which is a ho horror not horror but uh which game was it? It's a whole, not, not a horror game, but it's a, like a roguelite game where you are affecting the people's uh, mindset. Uh, I will remember. I will remember which. I don't know which one. I don't. Know, I don't know either. I, I can't remember the name. But if I if I remember, I will tell you which one. I'm. It has those those feelings or those small things. But uh, but ob obviously, if you're gonna if you're gonna be inspired oh. by something that you're gonna be uh, darkest dungeon maybe darkest dungeons yes 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 yeah. darkest dungeon I can't my my brain yes is exactly the, the position of the characters is really inspired by that mm -hmm. it looks... because it's the uh, scroll side I mean uh, good good uh, good characters on left bad characters on right and things like that. It has a bit of uh, inspiration. Great. So tell me, tell me a bit about yourself. So, so uh, are you, I'm guessing you are not a solo de developer because if you are, yeah. this is amazing. So this is silly, <laughs> silly amazing if you are a solo developer. Uh, but yeah, tell me about yourself. So where where are you from? What should we know about you or your team, and uh, how this game became as it is. Um. We are a, uh, well, we are Dreamset Games, we are a team of two, and this is our second, our second game, or big game, to say at least. Uh, first one was uh, Tycoon, Empire TV Tycoon, and, and well, uh, we, uh, uh, to say I am the developer, and he is the game designer. Mm. I, I do mainly all the development, and have uh, have opinion about game design, but he's a really good game designer, and uh, we both uh, <laughs> we both made it, made the game. Yeah. The artist is the third person. We have to contract him for for the art, and we are extremely happy because well, it's, it's clear he's really good. So we can say we are a team of three for the game. That's still silly. That's still silly, talented. Three 
developers how, how long uh, been on how long are you developing this game have you been developing this game yeah we began last last year on august uh, we began to think about it uh, well uh, i i for example i am a, a really passionate uh, player of deck building games like hearthstone space spy and train and we always think about uh, making a game similar to those but uh, we wanted to make a game more uh, RPG, to say. Uh, for example, a Slave Spire is really, really roguelike, inspired in combat events. But we want to make uh, something with quests, a history behind it, uh, oh. items, and, and characters you can develop in time, leveling them, and assigning tries, and, and things like that. So uh, on August, like I said, uh, we began doing some kind of a small demo to see if if we could uh, if we could do a game like this. So uh, in in a month we had a playable demo, and we both thought that we we could do we could do a game about it. So let's say the the first four months where we were doing the combat the cars, the, the dealings, and, and after that we began to work on the multiplier because the strong point of the game for us is uh, this is a co-op multiplayer game. In, in single player you can, you can have fun and, and the game is absolutely playable, but uh, we think there are not a lot of deck building games when, uh, based on multiplier. And, and we love to <laughs> to choose the characters and uh, and we play uh, like runs of two or three hours. And wow. Each run is different. And it's really really fun. So how 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 does the multiplayer version of this game, or how, if I would play it in a multiplayer, how would that differ from uh, what I'm experiencing now? Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in multiplayer you can play from two players to four, and you decide uh, which character you are controlling. For example, uh, we did we designed the game based on the uh, the archetypes of RPGs: the healers, the tanks, the damage dealers. And for example, I, I love to play DPS players, DPS characters. So I would say uh, uh, I choose the mage and the scout, and you choose the uh, warrior and the healer so um, you will be chosen uh, the cards for your players and i will be chosen mines uh, in the events like the like the one you you played before you you can choose an option and i can choose a different option than you for example let's say uh, the the house is burning you want to go in and loot the chest but i don't want to go in because uh, there is danger we can we can get an injury and burn in ourselves. So uh, there is a, like a mini game to decide who is right, who is wrong, and the game well, is evolving around that. All right, that sounds really interesting to have a yeah a card game uh, multiplayer and have multi multiple people uh, affecting the outcome. That's that's a brilliant idea. And by the way, in the meanwhile, I just want to make sure, uh, want to uh, confirm that yes, the corn things have a brain. I just did a brain <laughs> brain attack on them. So yep, yeah. confirm. Yeah, the, the corns are corrupted because you see, well, all this uh, the game have four biomes, okay, and this one is uh, based on the corruption of the. For example, there is a farmer there. What, what is a farmer doing here? <laughs> if you see, uh, he has like a flower. And the eyes have a, a blue glow, mm, okay. for example, like the corny, yeah. And that is that's like the sign of the corruption. There is a boss on this area, which is based uh, with flowers and corruption, and he corrupted all this land. Well, like I said, uh, uh, there is a story behind all of the game. Uh, there is a princess that is hiding. Uh, don't know, uh, nobody knows where she is. And your team has been contracted to find her, to find her, mm. and and you will be um, uh, unveiling the story uh, as long as, uh, as you walk around the map. 
For example, somebody on the chat said, well, the wolf have a sword called wolf's life. Yes, but uh, there is a story, <laughs> a nice story here, that there was a big wolf wars on the past, and the wolves on Senentia, which is the kingdom, this is the kingdom of Senentia, the wolves are in two sides. There are bad wolves and good wolves. And Magnus is an old veteran, which have a sword uh, that battled on the wolves, on the wolf wars. Well, a big, a big story around that. Wow, amazing. So, so not so this is this game is not only for casual players, but it is designed so people who are yeah more devoted into the lore and everything to have the deeper yeah. the deeper story behind the story you are you're giving that option but as far as i i understand or i just you know ran into the game just to uh try it out and not knowing the story is not uh stopping you from playing the game so that's no, a, that's a really good decision that's a really good decision to make make a game available for everyone uh, and and still for those who are interested and and more story driven and you get the uh opportunity to learn and question question what yes. are shorts for <laughs> now i'm going to, I'm going to ask like i, I, I yeah. because I, I skipped to, uh, yesterday because I, i like to play these games uh, blindly because then i can give you an honest opinion i don't have time mm -hmm. to think about it I just look at it and look okay that's happening that what's uh, so what's my first uh, impression of it and, yeah of course uh, so i skipped uh, the tutorial and now that the tutorial didn't come back i missed the tutorial <laughs> so we are figuring out things as we go so now you are here so um what are those shots <laughs> yeah um one of the things of the game that we we wanted to do is uh we want the game to be different with the options that you have, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you are playing, you are unlocking cards, okay? Uh, like, uh, you choose one card, you unlock it. What happens? The next time you play, you can uh, manage all your decks and swap cards. Uh, for example, you don't like the, uh, the punch that you, have, that you used before. Mm -hmm. So, you can drop it and craft a new one, a new card that you have unlocked previously. For example, uh, this is print that have the scout to choose the first one on the second on the second row. You can craft it with shards. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. So uh, you can, uh, for example, let's say uh, you want to play with fire with the mag with the mage. You want to play with fire. So you can drop all your lightning cards and craft fire cards. For example. All oh, right. So, so yeah, so you can create uh, different, yeah, different decks for different uh, people in the game. Exactly, and um, and there are points in the game. For example, if you can right uh, right click on a card, for example, the church that you have here. Okay. Oh, okay. I can upgrade yes. it. Exactly, and shards. Uh, you can pay shards to upgrade it for two different versions. Some some versions have. Uh, less energy use, some have more damage, some have more, for example, the, the top version uh, gives you a better fast speed and more damage. And the bottom one, I don't see it with the... Oh, my face is there. Uh, it get, that's just a deal 16 and gain uh, one. So that's that looks a bit uh, weaker than yeah, maybe the other one? The target behind target is monster. The front monster, front monster. The target is the same. Both of them are melee attacks, and uh, bottom one deals less damage. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove myself. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, is this the one? Oop. Oh, okay. Do you see the icon uh, at the left of the front monster? Yes. Yeah, that's Innate. Innate is the, uh, an aura that gives you the card on the first on the first row of the cards. Oh, that's cool. So you will have this card, you have this card on the on the first row. All right. Okay. So it's uh, a it's powerful card, but you can use it uh, at the first row. Okay. So I can. Yeah. This is just giving me more information about the card. So 
Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's. Ooh, hello. Yeah, we know that uh, the game at the beginning have a lot of info, like yeah. all those hours and courses. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. But but uh, honestly, when you play like one hour and you begin to understand how the buffs and courses play, for example, the call that you played before, the call, uh, one one charge of call doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But if you have like three or four or four charges, uh, you make them slow. Uh, they take more cold damage, and then, uh, well, I guess <laughs> it's, it's, you, you begin to understand how it works slowly, but, but the game goes faster after after that uh, beginning. Yeah, so yeah, that's a, that was the first thing that, uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna have, uh, you search for it to get the chance you ask the clues where to start. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I want to get some characters. You enter nearby, but Emil seems at the first glance that you uh, whispered after the Shh, aren't you my praise? Shh, you are scaring them, please leave. You aren't my <laughs> praise. Just wait a second. If you happen to find a strong venom, spider venom, shh, I, I, I will join your group after I finish this job. You can't clearly see. Okay, accept. So I. My homeland, a swamp filled with poison, there is a cave maybe there. The spoil of victim itself for your search. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, this. You have accepted the, the quest to unlock a new character. Yeah, that's uh, cool. Yeah, this is the assassin. Uh, as you can you can think, it's a uh, riser. It's like a big, big snake. This is a death snake, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the assassin. But, uh, sadly, the unlock for this character is on the next biome, which is not on the, which is not implemented <laughs> yet. You can unlock here in this map, uh, you can unlock the priest, which is a pig, a pig man, on the uh, bottom row, which is on the church that is at the bottom. Mm -hmm. There is the uh, the quest to unlock the the priest. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So it's it is quite complex. It is quite complex. Uh, I'm going uh, here. Battle. Ooh, they are not happy. Ooh, they are scary. Ooh, hello, poison. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh you are not. You don't look like fun. You don't look like fun. You all look scary. Okay. Um, pom 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 pom. Yeah, nice movement there. The, the mark uh, makes them take more damage. Mm. Okay, let's do more damage. Have you seen the, the total energy, which is behind, uh, below the character? Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, zero. Mm -hmm. And the green, uh, the green squares are the energy that we are going to get on the next two. Okay, so I can get. So here I'm gonna get five. Yeah, exactly. And if you don't waste energy, which is something different from other games, uh, the energy that you don't spend, uh, you can you can use it on the next two. Which lets you make some strategic movements. Okay. For example, uh, I don't have I don't have enough. Uh, well, I, I want to save my energy to heal on the next tour instead of wasting it. Imagine, because well, I think it will be more helpful on the next tour. Oh, there's damage. Oh, I don't want to damage myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had a. We played another game a few weeks ago, uh, which was, which was interesting because you wanted to damage yourself for yeah. certain things. So yeah. this this uh, whole concept can be yeah, so many different ways to interpret the. the oh. Yeah, I, I don't want I don't want to mention the name of clearings. No, I don't want to. Uh, the developer of that game is sitting in the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, so yeah, we have some characters. 
yeah they have some characters that they all damage to the, to the to them to make more damage to NPCs, which are the warlock, for example. Mm. Is, that's the his mechanic. Mm. So I, I wanted to uh, to say to you that with the priest, you can use the foresight card, mm -hmm. uh, which lets you see the cards that they are going to play. For example, right now those are hidden. Okay. Out of them. And with the foresight, uh, you can see what they are going to cast, which lets you uh, see. For example, you you can see that the that the wolf is going to attack the front target, so you can use your defenses to to cast block on that target, so you you get less uh, less damage. All right. Poor Piggy is not happy in, in, in the front. <laughs> uh, not really. Not really, no. no. Uh, I need some. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, I don't really want to hurt you because there's no point. You better go down. But I can't really. Do okay. Is that gonna be me? Yeah, you're gonna die. You're gonna die in a second. Yeah, he's going to die as well. As soon as he's his turn. But it's so. So this uh, I played so many different games that are card games in the uh, past few. Well, in the past one month, and it's it's always amazing to see how uh, same concept. How many ways you can. Uh, think about the same concept for card games for example so yeah we had we had clearings uh last time which was which was all, all also brilliant which was a uh what well, that was that was with dices so it's not not a card game but a dice game but it's a, a similar concept a similar mm -hmm. concept and then you have to hurt yourself so here here i fight as far as i can't attack myself but i have the option to select uh, that would be a that would be an interesting i don't uh, that uh, some some people that hurts themselves and <laughs> and uh, then something else would happen or you know it has it has benefits so you know it's a balanced thing mm -hmm. uh that would be an interesting thing to see um but you know not ne not necessarily uh, other than, uh, but uh, well uh, i wanted to say things i forgot what i wanted to say so this is such a nice well it's a well polished game so i'm it's a treat yeah. to have it on the on the stream so thank you again for letting me play it um i'm just trying to get through as much as i can so i can see the boss i want to do oh. want to fight the boss <laughs> <laughs> yeah um one thing we worked really hard was on as you say on polish uh, we we mm, we really played uh, almost every day to find new bugs and well, you know, the, the, the sense of everything is working like um, with the cards, for example, when you pass the mouse over the card to, to give you the impression that everything works flow uh, smooth. And we really work on that. Like the sounds, uh, sounds for every, for, we try to make sounds for everything and, and, and the animations of, of different, different cards. On, yeah exactly like that one that's nice that's nice oh the, yeah and you can look at everything that's brilliant uh one thing that i want to say uh last so i'm i'm giving out a secret at the moment but so this you updated this game today so i i yeah. checked out a different version yesterday and i wanted to say that oh the the certain no uh, game effects like the card effect and certain things were a bit too loud but in this version everything is nice and clean and and such a treat so so don't i had yesterday i had one complaint and you fixed it before i could mention it which is brilliant yeah thank you yeah yeah we uh, we are um, we are now uh, seeing people play the game mm. and that gives us a lot of really good feedback because we are used to to our movements to our plays and we tend to to do always the same things 
<laughs> and when you see, when you see somebody playing the game, uh, the concept really changes. I mean, for example, like you said, uh, they unlock they unlock on the screen. Bling 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 bling. Uh, maybe when you are playing, when you are developing, you don't, you don't you don't see that. But when you are on the other on the other side, watching somebody that plays the game, you say, "Wow." That that sound is awful. <laughs> I mean, mm. it's a bit annoying. And and it well, that foresight, foresight card at the left. Okay. Yeah, that one. Mm. Okay. On the next turn, you reveal. will see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what I said. We are give, we are getting a lot of really valuable information. Yay. Yeah, so. I, yeah, so so some some uh, some of the misconceptions I have, or some uh, I have a bad eye, not a bad idea, but I don't think in the way the game thinks because I'm I'm dragging my knowledge from from other games. So for for me, the insight was, uh, you know, I can see the cards that I'm gonna uh, get from the uh -huh. deck, yeah. which is a different, you know, in, in certain games works that way, but in it's here it's a different concept. Why was that locked? Because you are getting that card uh, based on the item that you have on your inventory. Oh, okay, okay. So that I don't have the card in in my. Yeah. Uh, I just have it because I have the item. That's all right. That's brilliant. Upgraded, upgraded, upgraded. Ooh, a sweet melody. I can sing. I don't really. Ooh, hello. Hello. Let's. Yes, please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, uh, yes, oh, oh, that's so strong, oh, no, I want this, I like this one, and I want to give more brain damage to the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Look, um... Relax and recover, uh, being near a bandit camp, you can surely find some gold or shards, uh, forest trail maybe led us to direct the bandit camp. You can do, yeah, that one, the Android one, because uh, there is a, if you want to watch it, there is a boss at, at the top right, at the top right of the map. Andre, for example, he can give you uh, a shortcut to the boss <laughs> if, you, if you pass the, the road. Okay, so should I go up upwards and, so should I, should I uh, select Andrin at the moment? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Lower than two. two. Oh, I failed. Unlock. Oh my god. No self-esteem. <laughs> Injury. Oh wow. That's great. That's what? A... what could go wrong? <laughs> uh, do I want to go? Yeah. Do you go, I want to go upwards? Yes, yes. That's the, the book is uh, where I wanted you to go. Okay. Andrin, if you pass the roll, Andrin shows you a path. Uh, uh, throughout the forest, mm. directly to the boss. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, okay, let's let's attack you because you don't look like friendly. You really don't look like friendly. Uh, I don't have any more attacks. Okay, let's just want to spin through this uh, battle fast so we can see the boss before our time is up uh, what, do you, what do you think about what happened uh, just right now for example there is an event you need to roll you don't have a, a chance to roll anymore but sometimes you win or sometimes you lose it, it's annoying it, it's how do you uh, how do you see that i mean this is this is an rpg so it, or this is a there has rpg uh um roots and yeah you have to have to deal with that but i don't know what happens if i lose the game or if i have to restart then what happens with my character so am i gonna get back the character with its base form and then uh so the replayability is the question here because if it if it happens once then it's all right well you know it happens I have to deal with it and I have to so it's it's a it's a, a plus minus thing so you have you have this uh, situation where you have to decide to, to be able to gain something you you have the chance to lose something so that's that's always a good thing oh hello 
Ooh, oh no oh no oh no so that's that's always a good because you are you're giving something to the characters and you can make that decision and you have to deal with the uh, mistakes so that's always a good thing and uh, okay yeah a game like this is about uh risk in in a sense it gets the risk so i don't feel bad for uh losing something because I made the decision. I didn't want to do. I don't want to do it. Uh -huh. I made the conscious, conscious decision to. Uh, that's, that's because we have a lot of different opinions just about about <laughs> about this one. I, I don't. I don't mind in the sense that this is a, a RPG. I don't know what happens if I if my characters die then then or if i if i want to replay the game is it gonna because as as yeah i understand that you're gonna uh, i can uh, unlock characters and i can restart the game with different characters and go through different ways i'm guessing but i don't know what's happening or how that's gonna happen so um you know, the, the for example the events uh, are programmed in this way uh, each uh, the event is, is, is always the same, okay? For example, that one, there is a path, and two sides, but each character had, uh, can open different replays to the event. For okay. example, you have, Andre, you have Andre now on the team, and he can uh, open a short, short path, circuit to the, to the boss. But a healer on this same event can give you the ability to remove cash from your deck, for example. Okay. And if you have items, for example, uh, there are uh, uh, quests or events that reward you with, uh, with mission items, Th those uh, items are used in uh, older events. So you can open new head, new stories, or new new rewards, things like that. Mm. All right. I had a question and I forgot it. If, I, if it comes back to me, I could ask. <laughs> but yeah, um, so can you remind me? Because I think I where, are, where are you located? Which part of the world are you joining us from? Yeah, from from Spain, and my English is not really good. So oh, your English is really good. Don't don't worry about anything. No, I'm just. Uh, I I want I want to make a map. I don't know if uh, the chat can confirm if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. It would be fun to see uh, where our the developers are coming from, who I'm having a conversation with, and I want to make a big map and have people everywhere, people and their games on the map, and I want to. I just it's. It's for the whole community as a as a developer community, uh, game devs. That the fact that it doesn't matter where which part of the world are you joining in because uh, can I kill this? I'm gonna kill this uh, because of the internet. We have like yeah, you can join in from Spain, real yeah. life, and we have a conversation about game development, which is brilliant. Which is brilliant. Yeah, and let, and let me tell you, as, as I said at the beginning, uh, I'm so thankful uh, for having us here. I mean, this is <laughs> this is a really good, uh, not only the, the, the chance to stream the game, but to, to talk about development, which is something we don't really do uh, daily. What, what would you say for, uh, because I do have a, a lot of newcomers and uh, game jammers and, thing, and people like that, what would you say? Uh, <laughs> The main thing when you start developing a game this big, how how would you recommend people to start it? Well, um, we uh, as I said, this is the the second game that we are releasing in, in, in Steam, but this is not the second game. This is in fact the third game because we were doing another game in between. What happened? We began to, to develop that game, which uh, the idea is really good in our opinion. It was uh, a, a concept absolutely different, uh, something we haven't seen in, in a game. But the problem was that uh, it was too big for us. Mm. So uh, we have to uh, we have to drop it at let's say like 30% and, and some months into development. 
and, and really forget about it because we saw that we uh, we too can 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 make a game like uh, that big so my first advice is is to always think about the game and see if you can handle it i mean uh, it's not for example you see the forums and oh how can i do an mmo uh, rpg <laughs> yeah so, so some things like that and and you have to be realistic with uh, with the project like I'm, uh, like i said but of course uh, nobody nobody borns knowing everything you you can uh, you can learn new things and, and finally do it but you have to be realistic with with the game that you are going to do so, for example, this is a game uh, we can do because uh, we are not really good with 3D, for example. So we can we can develop a game that is side scroll. So you have to have clear what, what where you are going and if you are going to be able to to finish it. Yeah, I think that's that's a brilliant advice. So don't don't overscope your game. Yeah, exactly. Don't overscope your game because, uh, uh, yeah, it's not going to be fun. Uh, but what? as I said, uh, you, you can do it. I mean, uh, the first game we, uh, we did, we really didn't know anything about Unity. For okay. example, this, this game is made in Unity. And we didn't know anything about it. Of course, uh, I've been developing for like, well, like 20 years. Oh, different wow. things, uh, different different projects. Yeah, I, I made a lot of games from for marketing. For example, with games, uh, games for banks, for events, things like that. Right? But nothing uh, for PC, for example, for like, let's say. <laughs> and I did some things on mobile, which is uh, at that time was absolutely different uh, to make something for PC. It was. Uh, it was made in Flash, so <laughs> you can say. Oh, wow, okay, that's... It's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely different. And we didn't know anything about Unity, but... And, and of course, nothing about this, about CSR. But if you know to develop and you have the... Well, well you, can, you want to do it. Of course, there are a lot of tutorials and a lot of videos. And you can learn a lot of things in, in one, two months. And if the project is, <laughs> like I say, is not something out of your scope, you can do it. Mm. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So, so a lot of, lot of, lot of practice. So if you, if you, yeah, new developers looking at this game and like, and think about it that two, basically two people, three people uh, did the development, and you could, you think that, oh my god, how, how am I gonna get to this level? Uh, think about it in a way that it's not not years but decades of programming and and practice and everything to get to this level so it's not just hey ho i want to get this <laughs> I want want to make a game and and run into it and and everything is gonna be nice and and fancy and pretty no it's not not it's not like that yeah experience uh, gives you uh, faster things I work fast than five days, uh, five, five years ago, but it's basically the same. Uh, that's not the boss, uh, is it? Yeah, that's that's the boss. That's one of the, this area have uh, four bosses. Four this bosses. Is one of the yeah, and this is one of the side bosses. This is the wall. That uh, well, that began the Wolf Rebellion. And there were two sides, <laughs> and this is the the well, an old friend of Magnus. Yeah, uh, yeah. But still, they, still they don't get along. They don't get along. Nope. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stuffed in a second. Oh my god. We have this team to, to do some damage. Let's before, do some. Before he moves. Let's do as much damage as we physically can and then. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt so badly. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Heal. Some, summon Shaman. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, I'm gonna be stuffed in a second. Oh my god. Um, param param. Yeah, I want more. But it doesn't really matter. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt badly now. I'm gonna have two more enemies sitting here. Well, yeah, really. <laughs> oh, and they are strong as heck. Oh my god. That's not fun. <laughs> I'm gonna be stopped in a second. Okay, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Yeah, great. Uh, I hope I. Yeah. Uh, uh, enrage. Yeah, I want this. More yeah. energy, which is always nice. It's always <laughs> nice. I know that didn't seem so good, but that's what's gonna happen. Go for them. Okay, I need to heal. Uh, <sighs> these Prayer are. Of healing. Uh, what are, what are you gonna do? Prayer of healing. Uh, as you have only three mana, you can only use prayer of healing yeah. or heal. Healing yeah, that's is, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna heal everyone a bit. That's better than nothing else. Well, you are not in bad position. Sorry. Uh, I said that you are not in bad position. Yeah, I'm not in a bad position. That's cool. That's cool. Good confirmation. Oh, uh, let's do. Hmm. Uh, um, I don't know. If I do, if I destroy the boss, will these, uh, will the, yeah. uh, it will go yeah. away? Yes, yes. Okay. If you focus the boss, it's, it's a way to, to win. Okay. I have so many things on the boss, like yeah. mountains of... Like in the say of the spire when you have the items and like it starts to morph and turns uh, turns inside out when you have too many items as, uh, as the game progresses you begin to understand yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah so this is a, this is a game where you you need a bit of a uh, time to get used to everything but even as a as an amateur or or you know newcomer i still s i see things that i that works quite well and i'm quite happy and and yeah i can still use my formal knowledge of i don't really want to do it. why am i doing that oh i'm gonna be oh, it's gonna hurt me that's gonna hurt me so why do you, you don't need you don't need more armor you, you definitely don't need more armor oh i'm bleeding i'm bleeding out magnus magnus your mate is not helping us um yeah maybe i don't know i'm gonna die uh it's not gonna help me that's free. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. And the uh, other other rule of the stream that you want there's two rules of the stream. I'm gonna eat. I'm all. I always drink a coffee or I eat biscuits. That's the one rule of the stream. The other rule of the stream is, if I can beat a game, then the game is too easy. That's another rule of the stream. So, uh, but as far as I can tell, it's, uh, you are not in the position where I would beat wow. this game easily. To um, be honest, on the first game, uh, beating, beating one of the bosses is, is hard, it's, it's not easy. Hmm, hello, uh, do I have a hero, uh, all, all hero barrier thing? No, I don't, so I'm, I just want to try to... Uh, yeah, foresight, yeah. Cause why not? Oh, uh, that's, that's bad. That's bad. Uh... 
Oh, that's a random monster. That's not worth it. I can't do that. Front monster. I can't do that either. <laughs> He's close. 35. So whatever happens, this is going to be our last uh, round. <laughs> oh. Oh, look. This this is what happens when when a character dies. Do you see the card? His yeah. his name at death's door. As as I said at the beginning, uh, we have been we have been inspired by Darkest Dungeon. The death door is one of its of the mechanics that they implemented to to kill to kill a player to kill a, a character. Mm. So we take the, the name because uh, we thought it was really smart. Um, what we are doing with this is okay. This is a game of, of characters, and Andre is uh, is no more on this fight. But uh, he get this injury that uh, when it's drawn loses energy and super hard course. If you pass the fight, if you win the fight, Andre will be on the on the next one. So Andre is not definitely dead, but is penalized. All right. Okay. That's fine. That's good. 19 life. Come on. Come on, guys. Do some impossible magic. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna die. That's for sure. So. Want to protect others. I can't. I can only do it self. It doesn't matter because I'm, the next turn I'm gonna die. Uh, on my next turn. <laughs> I'm not gonna be attacked by then. I'm gonna die. Well, you, you have a chance here because those are ranged dealer, ranged damage dealers. If you had oh, oh, nice cards. No, I don't have enough energy. Uh, oh, I have more energy. Yeah. Yay! Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We made it! Yeah. Everyone celebrate! Cheer! Okay, uh, and ooh, you get a loads of shards. Uh, let's see if I get <laughs> anything. Thank you, Seppi. Uh, bluff. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. I want that. Uh, grand. Not really. Uh, tip, 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 tip. Deal 18. It's a bit expensive. Yeah, I want electric. Um, tom 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 tom. Ooh, hello. Uh, this one. Okay. And we can go on. Loot. Ooh. Of course, there are special items here because he's a mini boss. And I got some special items. And, uh, ooh, wow. Max, max HP resistance. I want that. That cloak is really good. Really good. It gives you a piercing hole with cause zero. Uh, pom, 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 pom. The cleaver on the bottom row, Joel's cleaver. Uh, oh, is it cleaver? Yeah. Yeah. Each time you hit, you apply one hit. Okay, we can do that. Uh, damage and heal down five percent charge. No, no. I want. This and I want you to have more. Oh. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna end the game here. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so having this game at the moment is a streamer privilege. As yes, far. It's so sadly, <laughs> sadly there's no demo at. The, as, is, but when are when are you? Um, when do you gonna make um, a demo or anything for greater public to to try out? Yeah, we are waiting for the Steam Festival in February. February. Which is the next one? Yeah, we uh, we wanted to to show the game on, on the last one, but we thought that it's, it would be better if we wait uh, for the February one because the game release will be after that, like. Uh, Fine of uh, the end of February or beginning of March. Brilliant. All right. So, 
yeah so uh so in uh keep keep keep, keep in touch with i'm, I'm gonna close some i can yes uh yeah your current progress will be saved yeah so i can come back and and uh go and and destroy my or uh, uh fight fight my battle in a second or two so give me one second while i pull up a couple of information so doopy doopy doo uh, i don't want you i want you so everybody across the obelisk they need more followers they definitely deserve more followers Go, oh, thank you so much. go and uh, join and uh, follow them and say your opinion about the game based on what you saw today. Give them more love. Make their game more popular because I think they deserve it. It's a really good game. It was a really good experience. It, I will definitely need more time to get a bit more into the mindset because it is uh, a deep game and mm -hmm. so so many things happening at the same time and so so that might be a bit overwhelming for uh, for for some players I might you might want to do some not tutorials but some things you know a bit a bit smaller so smaller chunks of information uh, put down but um, yeah, Other than yeah that's, that's, that's a, those are things that we are learning uh, uh, watching, watching plays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It's a, a brilliant thing to uh, learn from from others and learn from. Uh, yeah, so that's another thing for, uh, for new developers. Make people play your games as much as you can and watch them play your game and watch their reaction and learn from it and then mold your style uh, or your game based on that because that's that's a really really uh, important feedback yeah of course so si sitting on a game and and thinking that oh how good it is it's not gonna it's not gonna work and as soon as you release it uh and mm -hmm. then negative feedback comes back hey, it's not it's not it's gonna hurt, no, it's gonna hurt. that one is the, the demo that i talked before if you just call a bit, a bit uh, yeah there is a post that shows uh, and what how how was it in the in the bit, uh, below a, a bit up, uh, below below scroll wow more. this yeah this one yeah that that was the demo <laughs> that wow <laughs> that that we did on August to see if we can if if, if we were able to do the game if if it was fun if it, <laughs> this is uh, the beginning of the game. So that, that's the demo, people. That's yeah. the demo. That's that's your prototype here. No, it's not a prototype. It's it. We we it, got some assets and say so we came can a do a game way. around it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it came a long way. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Uh. Wow. Well, that, well, it, thank it, you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. And now it looks like this. I haven't seen these creatures, but yeah, so that's a big, big jump. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. If you have want to shout out anything, now's the time. If you well, have... no, uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for the streaming, for the chance to talk about uh, development. I really have a really fun time here. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. So yeah, go and uh, check out Across the Obelisk.